This is how the biggest songs in the world fit the vocal and instrumental together like puzzle pieces. I've mixed hundreds of tracks this year and I've used this technique in every single one and I bet you'll start using it in every track too. With any mix, there's gonna be a huge problem. The left window is the frequency spectrum of the instrumental and the right is of the vocals. At any moment in time, if we layer the vocal on top of the instrumental, you can see they're fighting for space. It's like if I play a note on a piano, then the same note with a bell, then play them together, then the bell sound gets kind of lost. That's exactly what's happening with the vocal and instrumental. And this fight for space, it's happening 44,000 times every second. That's why EQing the instrumental doesn't really solve the problem to make space for the vocals, because the frequencies are constantly changing. So here's the solution. Everything in this project that isn't a vocal I have running into this instrumental bus. Now I'll find my lead vocal track. I wanna love you in real time. All of these days passing us by. I want the instrumental bus that I made to be able to hear that vocal. And I've already mixed this vocal, so I'll send it after all of the effects to a new bus. I'll put that in pre-fader mode and turn it to zero decibels. That might look advanced, but all I've basically done is make a copy of the processed vocal. I wanna love you in real time. But I'm gonna change the output of this copy to no output. Now when I hit play, no sound comes out. The audio is going into that bus and then hitting a dead end. We're gonna use that ghost audio to affect the instrumental. So I'll go back to that instrumental bus and I'll add this plugin Soothe. Now this isn't an ad for Soothe at all, I just find it's the best way to do this trick. But if I were to do an ad, it would be for my new mixing course that just dropped at bigzcourses.com. I show my entire mixing process and mix two songs from scratch. It's expensive, but it's really in depth. It's for people looking to invest in their music careers. If it's not for you, it's all good. Just keep watching all the free stuff that I put out. Anyway, back to the video. I'm sure most of you guys know this plugin. It's like a dynamic EQ that reacts to the level of audio like this. but it can be much more precise. So I'm gonna side chain it to that vocal bus we set up before, which was bus 26. Then I'm gonna adjust some of the settings here. Now the instrumental can listen to the vocals. I'll show you what I mean by clicking this Delta button here. That sounds so weird, but I wanted to show you that because we're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna carve out that space from the instrumental. So 44,000 times every second, this thing is changing the tone of the instrumental based on what the vocal is doing. So now if we take a snapshot of the frequency spectrum, they're gonna fit together more like puzzle pieces. But we want this effect to be a little more subtle I like carving out around two or three decibels of space so it sounds more natural. Thanks for watching. Peace.